y'all it's taste pink welcome back and i wanted to give you guys different style inspiration for the k malaysian curly wig from my first wig that i'm wearing right now and you guys have been loving this unit but sis before we get into the main meal okay for the entree i want you guys to make sure that you're subscribed and turn your notifications on and let me know when you subscribe so i can give you a nice warm welcome and share this look with your homeboys and your homegirls it's act up season okay hot girl summer period so we like to stay cute and we like to do it when we can you know get a little better deal for our buck so i wanted to do this video specifically because it's the fourth anniversary sale at my first wig and if you use the code for b day you get 12 percent off and you get a free wig kit sis you can only get this unit from my first wig companies are scamming the girls and i'm sad about that but i want y'all to be careful and if you you know you're hesitant about it get the lace front wig option which i'm wearing and you still get so much versatility like you can still slay a ton of looks whether you want a side part a middle part no part slick it back slick it up options are endless and i'm going to show you two different looks today we're going to get that wet look it's going to be cute it's going to be sexy y'all going to feel it and i want to give a special thank you to all the queens who have reviewed my unit thank you to my first wig for just all of the support like honey super natural and realistic hairline i wanted to do an easier wig application you guys are going to see i wanted my wig to stay on in this hot girl summer type heat but we're going to keep it simple and we're going to slick her back and you guys you're going to get into it you're going to love it and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below but this unit is 130 percent density i wanted to highlight that for you guys so she's going to give you a little bit more of a fuller look you guys can see my puff is a little bit bigger than the last video that i did which i'll link in the description box in the card section don't trip sis check it out let's get into it i'm starting off with co-washing the hair and this is to help enhance the curl pattern and you want to really saturate the hair with lukewarm water from the knots all the way down to the very ends and then i'm going in with the ultra hydrating conditioner by swap this is the almond shea butter girl you got to get this and use this and apply it to the hair and evenly distribute it and saturate the hair so that you get maximum results let it set for about 15 to 30 minutes. And this is the amount of shedding you can expect from a quality curly unit. And then I'm just gonna go in and rinse this out and allow it to air dry upside down. That's the key. Now, I wanted to show you guys, you can part this unit on the left and right sides. So this is a lace frontal wig and you get six inches deep of parting. Now, the last time I gave you guys a side part, but we're gonna do a middle part and see how deep set the part is. It extends very far into the crown, which gives a more realistic look. And this is how gorgeous the curl pattern is when it's air dry, so big, so fluffy. And the pre-plugged hairline looks super natural and it's perfect for beginners. Now, if you're tired of baby hair, sis, I got you, okay? I'm using my Herbal Essences Foam and this is really good at applying to the hair, especially around the perimeter hairline to give it a little bit more hold and to pull the hair away from the lace front edge. Make sure that you comb this to help distribute it and coat the entire front edge and then just clip the hair away so it sets like this. And then I'm going in with the My First Wig Flyaway Tamer. Now this is gonna give additional hold and it's also gonna add a little bit of shine which looks really, really good. Now for someone who didn't do any pre-plucking, look at this sis, okay? To my beginners, I need you to get into this natural scalpiana realness. Great transitional density on this unit, so <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know. Now I'm gonna go in with the Got To Be Ultra Glued Styling Gel and I'm gonna apply this right above my natural hairline. I'm doing that because I do have a little bit more forehead space. And then I'm gonna follow up with the Got To Be Freeze Spray and blow dry this so that it becomes tacky. And because this unit comes with a pre-sewn elastic band, you're gonna get even more hold and a more comfortable fit. So I'm just going to place the lace edge exactly where I want it. You may have to adjust it, that's okay. Just do it before it dries completely and before you begin blow drying it that one last time. And you may have to go in and do your sides, that's normal. I'm just showing you guys like a realistic application this. And then I'm gonna use this elastic band. Now this changes the game. If you want your lace to melt, 
If you really want to enhance the look of your pre-plucked hairline, please do that step. Now I'm going to start the styling process. I'm creating my middle part. I want it to be neat and very pronounced and extend as far back as I'd like. And I'm going in to mist the hair with warm water. I like that, you know, the warm water is going to help so that when we go into detangle, we're not detangling on a dry medium. So I'm using the paddle brush to make sure that I distribute the water through all of the hair. Now look at how gorgeous this looks, sis. No product, okay? Let me tell you something. Get into it. Very, very cute. I love this, but I'm going to go in with my two favorite products, which I'll talk about a little later. But the very first thing that you want to do is apply an oil. This is jojoba oil. I just want something to retain the moisture and add shine so we can get that quality wet look. You know what I'm saying? That the girls are doing. Now I'm going in with a very generous amount of the Style Factor Edge Booster Styling Gel. This is the styling gel, not the pomade. Now, if you just apply this, you're going to get a considerable amount of hold and it's going to dry down. So this is just the first step. And look how hydrated, how just like moisturized and ultra juicy the curls look. We're building up the product in a way that it doesn't create residue, but that it creates a look that stays hydrated for a long time. Cause I know for the wet look, you don't want it to dry down crazy and get too, too puffy. And now with the ORS Curls Unleashed cream i'm going to apply this and you want to use modest amounts and evenly distribute it through the sections you don't want to use too too much because we're trying to avoid that residue but sis i'm in love with the curl definition it is absolutely insane like i want you guys to see from start to finish from the cold wash process to now this is crazy and this is 130 percent density so this is going to look a little bit fuller a little bit heavier and i really really like this it's a step up but you can also get the 100 percent density if it's a little too much for you but be very gentle and make sure to move the paddle brush through the ends especially and i'm going to go in with my electric high comb and just make sure that part is laying flat and use the flyaway tamer y'all know as your press powder we want to define that part and kind of mask that stocking cap and sis remove the elastic band and get ready to get your life okay you always want to go in with the hot comb to accentuate that perimeter edge you want it to look as realistic and let that pre-plugged hairline shine through I'm just doing a few finishing touches. You know me, I like to be a little bit extra. But for the most part, sis, this is how it looks and I absolutely love this. And I got so many compliments when I wore this, sis. <laughs> it's too juicy. I can't even like, do we like it? Cause I'm feeling it. Now let's say you don't wanna wear it straight back. You wanna do something a little bit different. Lace front wigs, when done properly, can give you a lot of versatility. And so I said, you know what? Yes, this unit has wefts. But you know what? I want to slick it back. I want to see how slick this wig can go. And because I have a braided foundation, which I highly recommend, you want to take a paddle brush and then a bristle brush to really slick the hair back using the Style Factor Edge Booster Styling Gel. And sis, this hair will obey you, okay? And you know, I had to do the little sideburns, something little, just little cute, little accents. Don't want to do too much. want to keep it as realistic as possible. And then just use a little bit of free spray to slick that hair down. And it's going to add a little bit of shine. It looks very, very cute. I didn't even have to use bobby pins for this. This is how bomb this hair just, oof, it did it for me. Let this set for about 15 to 30 minutes. You know, maybe when you're beating your face, before you step out, just take your time. But if you wanna maximize the puff and get a little bit more curl definition, you don't want it to be too frizzy, add water and then a little bit of the styling gel. And it goes such a long way. And if you wanna diffuse it, add a little bit of cold air, definitely use cold air, not hot air, and fluff out those curls. And sis, 
did we do it because i think we did it definitely check out my first wig they're having their fourth anniversary sale use code 4 day to get 12 percent off your purchase and a free wig kit says all links will be in the description box be sure to check out my first wig okay they're doing bomb things and i want you guys to get in on it thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe join the family let me know so i can give you a nice warm welcome share this with your homeboys your homegirls you never know who wants to slay sis give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling the look comment below and let me know which style did you like are you more like the wet and wavy kind of look or do you want to slick it back let me know thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one